Hi, I'm Sergeant First Class Xavier Perez from the United States Army Van Pershing Zone here in Washington, D.C. And I wanted to talk today about um, overtones for the saxophone. Okay. Now, uh, for me, uh, saxophone, practicing overtones on the saxophone, it's really been one of the greatest things that I've done for my sound, for my tone, for my, uh, for my air. And it's really something that we can all do at all levels. Okay. And it's something that you, every time you take the instrument out, you practice some overtones. It helps you get grounded and the fundamentals of a good sound with a lot of colors in it. And this was, uh, this was introduced to me many, many years ago uh, by my, my professor. And he actually told me about a book that, I, it's a great book that's worked for me. It's called um, Developing a, Sac a Personal Saxophone Sound. It was written by Dave Liebman. Um, and it's based on the principles of Joe Allard. Joe Allard was a master teacher. He taught uh, Eddie Daniels, Michael Brecker. He's taught so many uh, uh, musicians of, of many styles. Um, and before we start with the overtones, one of the things that Joe Allard used to talk about is that you don't want to pinch the sides of the reed, okay? With a lot of pressure and your corners pulled up on your embouchure, what you're doing is that you're inhibiting the tone and the color of the overtones, okay, that are present in any sound. Okay, so just think about this. I want you to think about the, the letter V as a vector or a violin. And that's where you want to set your embouchure. So V, V, you don't wanna, you don't wanna do this, all right? So tight corners, like a smile, that will inhibit the reed. And when you're inhibiting the reed or you're going up on the saxophone and you're pinching, you're creating tension, tension in your throat, tension in your embouchure. You're gonna kill the overtones, okay? So just when you start doing them, I want you to think about a flat lower lip, okay? A flat lower lip. So um, we're, the exercise is gonna start now, and uh, this is a great thing to do, and uh, they're gonna sound like this. So the first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna play a uh, B flat major scale. Not too bad, we're gonna start that in the middle register. Okay, and we're gonna go up from middle B flat all the way to high F, okay, the highest note before you go into the altissimo over the saxophone. And it'll be uh, B flat, whether it's alto, tenor, I'm not talking concert, I'm talking saxophone. So it's your B flat major scale. Now I got my tuner ready to go here, and it's not about speed, remember, it's about sound. So I'm just really trying to be really relaxed and really concentrate on having warm but focused air. And I'm gonna to try to hit it right in the middle of the intonation, all right? So it'll be something like this. So this is number two, and uh, now it's going to get a little bit more challenging. We're going to go into the overtones now. All right. After you played your B flat major scale, we're going to play another B flat major scale using overtones. Now I wrote out this uh, this little uh, exercise, and I just want you to think about this. The X's, all right. The X's that you see, those are the notes that you're going to hear. Again, X's are notes that you are going to hear. So for example, there's a low B flat here, a low B flat finger, fingering on the saxophone, on the horn. So you're gonna finger your low B flat, but you're gonna hear the one with the note with the X, all right, the B flat up here. And it's gonna continue all the way up, all right, all the way up. So you're gonna see we're playing the B flat major scale, all right, but you are gonna finger all kinds of overtone fingerings, all right.
miss a note, I go back and I try to hit it again. If your lip starts to shake because you're getting tired, don't pinch up. Don't think about embouchure pressure. Think about supporting more. Support with the air than with the embouchure. <laughs> Try to hit them. Also, articulate them. I did that all slurred. Try. I'm trying to not get the tongue involved. If you feel like you're getting them on a consistent basis, then get them and then start to tongue them and see if you can get a nice and light attack and not let them crack. This is a great exercise. I recommend it. To, I still do it. All right. I do it a lot. <laughs> and this will really help your saxophone sound. Good luck and have fun.